think there is some uh, a misconception about food, about calories. People are consuming, especially about the calories that people are consuming that they are not even aware of. And today I wanted to share with you a few of the items that you are eating and you are not aware how many calories that you are putting in into your body. And uh, perhaps because of that, you are not getting the body that you want. <laughs> um, I wanted to bring some samples, okay? So you have an idea. This is um, a chip, a um, bag of chip. I better not say what name because I might get in trouble. It says uh, 35 chips gives you 270 calories and, and 50 gram. The number, when you measure it, 35, 35 chips doesn't really equal to 50 grams. It's probably equal to 100 grams. Unless um, the chips, which I put in here, unless this is one size, or maybe they include this size. So don't look at the number of chips that you're consuming. Weigh their total amount. For example, this is 50, 50 grams. And 50 gram, I count the number of chips in here, and there are only 20. So that means the numbers behind here is not correct. You might, that's what I used to do too. I love chips. And I look at it, 35, no, 32 chips equals to 270 calories. That's more or less about 10 calories or, or more, a little bit more for each chip. But when you actually weigh it and how many grams, 50 grams is only probably 20 chips. So not just the chips of today, I, um, I wanted to, to share with you uh, that a lot of the time the food industry are, are not giving you the exact amount or you might not read it properly. All right, so in this one, okay, let's just say popcorn. Um, I got them because my son is in school and he's doing homework and some snacks for him. He can take it. It says two and a quarter cups or the same, 50 grams. It gives you 240 calories. This is one cup and a quarter. And, um, and it's not... 50 gram, it has, no, this is actually one cup, not two cup. So when it says, this is actually 50 gram. However, it says two and a quarter cups or 50 gram. That means two of this is 240, give you 240 calories. But two and a quarter cup doesn't equal to 50 gram in here where I'm, when I measure it. So that's misleading. Again, weight it with, with a scale. You can get a scale like this from, from any stores and it's more accurate than the bag because they want you to eat more and then telling you that it's not actually the amount of calories is less than what it says. All right, so something I want you ladies or gentlemen, uh, when you eat chips, really pay attention to how many calories that you're consuming. I know so many people love chips and they sometimes tell me, I love chips, a little bit chips, and but I could not get rid of the tummy here. Maybe because you're eating too many calories. When I say I eat everything right now, meaning I eat a lot of the good stuff first. I still eat, eat my chips but I am more aware of the calories in each chip and how much I'm eating. So for example, another example, this Brussels spout, the whole plate of this is only 200 calories. And this chip has more calories than, a lot more calories than the Brussels spout. But when you eat the Brussels sprouts, it fill you up. When you fill up, when you fill up with good nut, let me, uh, good food, healthy food, 
Your tummy doesn't have space for junk food. All right. And last time I mentioned some the nuts too. All this, the chips, about 250 calories. That's like eating three or four oranges. Imagine you eat two oranges. How does your body feel? You probably feel a little bit fuller, give you a little bit um, good carb. I bet if you finish these chips, you still want more. So that's why so many people don't realize that um, the amount of calories that they're over consuming way too much. And um, so I'm just sharing with you next time, check the bag and the number of calories and um, in the back of the bag. Some of them are quite misleading and that costs that might be the cause of so many people are obese and and I know you you think you're eating the right amount because we trust the company who put the calorie who put the uh, nutritional value there right but um, if you're not getting the body that you want check the amount of um, the food that you're consuming and the quality and the quantity and especially the number of calories again what do you, what you don't burn out it's going to stay here and um, that's all I wanted to make you aware is know what you are putting in your body.